Hello to everyone, Denise Kozer here. In this video I want to show you how to add uh, some fingerprints or raindrops on your tile material. If you want more interesting videos, please subscribe on my channel, give me some likes or write some comments. It all motivates me for recording new videos. We will use textures from polygon.com here you can start free trial or just download free textures. I will use fingerprints 04. Just download it in high res and load it up in 3D Max. I will start interactive so you can clearly see what's going on and assign material from the previous lesson. The easiest way to add fingerprints on this material is Corona Layered MTL. We'll bring it up. I disable displacement to save my computer resources so it render faster and feed this material to the base slot and uh, just simple corona material in the layer O. Now as you can see we need to assign corona layer MTL to the model. Now we got this gray material and uh, the next I need to load it up in the 3 3ds max here how it looks pretty nice put it in the diffuse color to see how it looks now I see that it is too large and uh, to make it smaller I will increase styling so I make it 1 and 5 and uh, for the tutorial purpose I think it will be ok. Next we need to put it into the mask 0 and as you can see uh, now we've got tile material and the fingerprints but the la last uh, to dull so I will bring up the output amount and as you can see now it appears more strong in the real life you don't want to use uh, such large numbers but in the tutorial purpose I think it's better to see them maybe at 3 yes I will keep it like this so you can see that they still here and um, let's add the raindrops it will be um, more interesting material just Corona MTL in the layer 1 now it appears grey and we need to load up these textures you can find them in the textures surface imperfections and here as you can see very large amount of interesting textures I will use this and um, load it up into the 3ds max next I will assign just to look how it works 
in the diffuse color as you can see we need to rotate this by 90 degrees now it's look better and we need also to rotate another textures so this this and the last one okay something like that next as in the previous lesson I need to add corona normal add gamma to input flip green channel Y and uh, assign it to the bump slot next I need to add the displacement also assign it and um, now max level one centimeter in the displacement now as you can see we've got some volume for the raindrops after that we need to add mask into our corona layered mtl mask one now it appears better but we've got some strange spots you just need to change mono channel output to alpha and now it looks much better after that you can or disable the reflection map or just put it into the reflection color it's all about your taste and uh, now we need to set up the water material it has no diffuse reflection by one refraction one Fresnel IOR water have 133 and uh, refraction IR the same 133 if you want you can decrease glossiness a little bit so it looks not such perfect and um, here we are we've got nice raindrops on our surface if you have some questions please write them in the comments also you can advise me some tutorial topics also give me a like or dislike and uh, subscribe on my channel to be the first who will see new videos see you next time bye